Uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan, our defending champion here in this Betway United Kingdom Championship. 3-1 in front of Tom Ford. He needs three more, Ronnie, for a place in an eighth UK final in the last 25 years. Back we go to Alan McManus and Stephen Hendry. Thank you. Yes, Thank O'Sullivan. 3-1 to the good then. Thank you. Frame five. Roger Sullivan to break. As Olivia Martil brings this capacity crowd to order. For the second instalment of the semi-final. And on the evidence of the first four frames, Sullivan just grown, has grown into the match. Stephen Henry hasn't. He's been excellent in the last two or three frames. Very focused to Sullivan. Yeah, he's kept his mind on the job. That's what he's become. He's not just a showman. He's a match, a match winner now. And that's what he does. He just comes out to do whatever he has to do to win the match. I agree with JP. He's not been his brilliant best positional-wise. He's not been his best cue ball day. It's not been as tight as it normally is. red so obviously he's not too hampered by the green he can get his cue through I see what? missed the cannon that was his intention played the cannon to black here or a combination of red and black to leave the black to the right corner pocket very crisp, long pot, though. Yeah, he doesn't really want to send the black on a journey here, but it's the only way that he can get the cue ball in bulk. He'll try and keep it in the open, just above the blue, as much as he can. But as I say, he had to he almost force them to push it up the table. But a good tight cue ball again. How creative it can be, the black up there is not a massive problem. Should he get the chance? Yep. Classy again from Tom, giving okay. Olivier a good look at the outside red. <coughs> yeah, this is quite high tariff if he plays it. Anything thicker than, well, Scraping the red paint off it. And saying that the blue might help this shot. He can only just hit the red. Foul and a miss. And it's one of Ronnie these ones that's ball. crucial should the balls be replaced, which it probably will be. <coughs> crucial that the cue ball goes back exactly as it was before. So it'll take a few moments to get it spot on. Is to the left is Joe O'Connor. He actually played in this event, lost to Joe Perry. I'm saying what a taste of this atmosphere, Alan. A future reference. <laughs> yeah, it's not a bad ploy, is it? Yet to sample the atmosphere of the packed barbican you see there. Just about get through to pot this red. Oh, One. Quite an, an 
difficult pot, but it was quite a nice <coughs> shot to have that, wasn't it? Liable to leave anything should he miss it now. These are tricky, these browns. I'll compare it to a pink off the spot on the other side, but it's a bit further down towards the back cushion. Not quite as much pocket to aim at. All oh, right in the heart. I'd be very surprised if he doesn't play for black here. Ah. Just screw that cue ball back to that left hand side cushion, that one that he's leaning over now. Got a very heavy contact Six. there. See the red leave the bed of the table. Well, if he's screwing back here, this does need good cueing. Just having a tuck in of the waistcoat so that doesn't foul any of the reds. Playing this deep screw with left hand, left-handed. What a shot this could be! Oh, that's just okay. He's not on the intended red, but it was a brilliant shot. Thirteen. Yeah, what an asset to have. <coughs> Excuse me. I was actually surprised he didn't play the red previous with his left hand. It was hampered by the black. And playing that red. Now, staying aggressive, taking this difficult red on. Try and catch the red full ball. Push through it. Thank you. Not Four quite feet. out of the woods. Another fantastic pot. Some more good queuing required here. Straight blue to the far left corner. Sure. Yeah, Tom Ford still at a hundred. Percent success. Ronnie, two out of three so far. <laughs> just brushed it home. Caressed it into the pocket. Didn't bang that, just stroked it in. 90. It makes it all the easier when you get nothing to do with the cue ball, but having the white cleaned, it just gave him that extra few seconds to prepare for it. Twenty. Again, played with blue to left middle, overhead. No, oh, that was struck. Beautifully. 22. Just signs to me that Ronnie Sullivan is moving up the gears with his intensity to get this match won. 23. Front runner in the game. Not very often, Alan, is it? He loses a match from behind, from in front, I should say. No. 30. He loves playing from the front. And we 
see the little cannon there. He's just a wee bit straight in this red. I wonder if he's considering playing round the back of the black for the black in the same pocket. He just couldn't get it out of there. Cue bolt. <coughs> yeah, your choice of shot, I think, was the best one there. Follow through. Two cushions. Black to the same pocket. <coughs> it looked to be ideal to play that shot. Ideal to play that shot. You see the average shot time tells a little story in itself today. Oh, Ronnie above 20 seconds at 21 there. That's, that's quite rare actually, but it tells you, Stephen Pretty said, the intensity of which he's playing. Oh, as he left a plant here. <laughs> Tom coming round to have a look. Yeah, and that's the average shot time is always a consequence of he's not had the, the tightest cue ball today. So he's spent a lot of time thinking when you get automatic perfect position every shot you've got nothing to think about you just get down and play the shot you can see that plant is dead set but the problem is getting to that pot and angle from where he is yes tough on two counts isn't it if he found the angle how does he inject the pace in it to the red to reach the pocket because it's super thin the other thing is Clear safety and return to bulk. Anything central. You're bound to leave it for Ronnie. Mm. Having a good think about it, and I can understand why. It's coming up in a minute. 4 1 down. It'll be a long road back for the Leicester man. between the devil and the deep blue sea here. He didn't quite know what shot to play. Oh, good shot this is. This is very classy. Super shot. Well done. Tap on the table by Ronnie. Yeah, that's the best shot he's played in this match so far. Straight out of the top drawer, that safety shot. Red cuts back here. If he catches it thin, uh, too thin. Uh, has he been a little fortunate there? To he's covered both the reds in the right half. How's Tom feeling now? This red nearest the blue. A big shot. Oh, yes. <laughs> Two of the best shots he's played in the match, back to back, Tom Ford. He created the chance for himself. And now he's in prime position to take advantage. It was also excellent concentration because there was a cough right as he was about to deliver the cue. <coughs> cough from the audience, so. Eight. Tremendous concentration. As you say, Alan, that's his two best shots of the match in a row. Played them together. What can he make of this chance? Nine.
15. Sixteen. Can play a little cannon in the pink here if he wants. Just to hold the cue ball. Oh, Tom, Tom, we said before. Uh, Tom missing Ford, blacks on the 16. spot. It looked like Thank he was you. trying to hold the cue ball. Why not just play into the pink? Then you can play the black with more authority. You don't have to play a little touch shot. He'll be devastated in his seat. Yes, yeah, both Tom and his wife there are just suffering at the minute. O'Sullivan, 21 in front and counting. I did think the shot previous to the miss Eight. black, he, he just played the little red and he didn't quite grab the cue ball as intended. He left it about an inch lower than he wanted. Nine. Ronnie O'Sullivan does not forgive easily. It's some test of 15. every part of your game when you come up against this man. 16. Your skill, your bottle, your concentration, every facet gets put to the sword. to do with the cue ball and uh, just push through and it's all but going to be a 4-1 lead coming up 24 31 doesn't go in, but 31. I don't think it'll matter. Tom nods his head. He'll be very disappointed. What a fantastic opportunity to close the gap. But instead, Ronald Sullivan instead extends his lead to four frames to one. 